that's not that's not what it is at all. Hi guys, I'm Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another book haul and this is such a big book haul that I believe, no I don't believe, I know I will be splitting it up into two parts um, just because it is an excessive amount of books which is so ironic because within the last month I think I posted two other book hauls. Uh, in the first one, I think it's my winter book haul, I so maybe it's been more than the last month, I mentioned the fact that I hadn't been buying a whole lot of books. Well, needless to say, a library sale happened. I attended my library a second time and happened to just look at the sale rack and it was like full of great titles. Um, and then I've just in general been doing some other shopping, but this part of the haul will be all the books I bought from my local library sale slash just like the sale section. And I just wanna put this like little disclaimer story out there that a lot of these books I purchased when I went to the library sale, which I went to on the last day of the sale and only had 15 minutes before they closed. So it was quite literally a mad dash through the uh, fiction section, just the general fiction of the paperback and hardback. So if I even recognized a title, I grabbed it because I didn't feel like I had the time or luxury to be like, do I really want this or not? And all the books were already 50% off. So the most I paid for any of these books from that bunch of the sale was 50 cents. And I have brand new hardbacks because that's another thing that I've noticed. My library has been getting a lot more donations from just other readers that aren't previously library books. So I have gotten some incredible deals. And when you're buying a book that's basically in perfect condition for a dollar, like how do you say no even if you're like, oh, maybe I'm not gonna read it because if I don't read it, then I'll just turn it into my local used bookstore and I'll buy a book or have credit towards a book that I do wanna read. So if you wanna fault me for that, that's fine. Maybe not the video for you to watch, but if you're interested to see the crazy good deals that I got at my local library within the last month or so, keep watching. Okay, so we will go ahead and start with the books that are actually used library books first, just because that happened to be the way that I separated them out. And the first of these is my late, my name is Lucy Barton by Elizabeth Strout. I don't know a whole lot about this book, but Elizabeth Strout is an author that I've wanted to read for a really long time now because I have a feeling that I'm really going to enjoy her. I'm hoping for some like um, Someone Vibes by Alice McDermott and that's kind of what I get when I like read synopses of these so I'm really looking forward to this one and it's not very big so hopefully one I can get through fairly quickly and then another book that I was so so stoked to find was uh, when God Was a Rabbit by Sarah Winman that was kind of an awkward pause uh, she of course is the author of uh, Tin Man which I insisted on buying it's just over here um, before it came out in the US because I had to have it and I still haven't read it which is really embarrassing again I don't know a whole lot about it but I just have a feeling I'm gonna enjoy Sarah Winman's writing and I do believe this is her debut yeah this is her debut and then she has one other novel uh, but I'm gonna have to get around to her one of these days very soon and I was very excited to find um, these books. This is The Mapmaker's War by Romlin Dom Domingu, I believe. Um, and this is a fantasy story. And I found the second book as well. And the reason this doesn't look like it was a library one, but it was. I just kind of like cleaned it up a bit and got rid of the like plastic jacket. And this is a pseudo fan no it is a fantasy about a woman who is a map maker and i've already read it so look out for a wrap up soon um but it was an intriguing read um about a like i said a woman who's a map maker I'm like almost out of breath i don't know why i'm talking so fast uh who kind of becomes a traitor to her kingdom and it's about what happens to her and it was interesting and i'm i'm, I'm intrigued for the next I also found a short story collection, Fortune Smiles by Adam Johnson. I believe Doris at Aldi Books chatted about this book and I wanna say she wasn't totally enamored with it, but I'm running desperately low, desperately low on unread short story collections at the moment. So I figured for 50 cents, like I was okay that I grabbed it and we'll give it a shot. And maybe this will be an author that I need to check out more of his work in the future. I also picked up Those Who Leave and Those Who Stay by Elna Ferrante. This is book three of the Neapolitan novels, of course, the first book being My Brilliant Friend. I've not yet read the second one. I do have a copy, but for the fact that this is a library book edition, it's in great shape. Like the spine isn't cracked and it's just, I don't, I don't know why they decided to get rid of it. Maybe too many copies, but I was happy to bring it home for 25 cents. 
I can spiff it up, clean it up, and it'll look brand new, I promise. And the last of the used library books from the library sale is The Lowland by Jhumpa Lahiri. I have not yet read her. I have recently hauled her short story collection that won the Pulitzer. Uh, I just have this intense feeling that I'm really gonna like her. So I just grabbed this book. Again, this is gonna be a pseudo theme, Apologies, which is the irony of book hauls, but I love watching book hauls even if they're just like, and this is the book that I got. Uh, this looks like it's about brothers growing up in Calcutta. I, I'm just excited to read her stuff. So now it's at my house and in my library. A book that I genuinely thought that I never would buy, but when I had the opportunity to buy it for a dollar and it's basically brand new, I figured why not. That is Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. This is the story of a marriage and how it seems perfect and maybe it isn't. And those kind of stories makes, make me anxious because infidelity and lying within a marriage or a relationship makes me really uncomfortable and I'm not totally sure why that is. Um, but I don't tend to enjoy stories like that, but I figured I would give this book a shot. I do have another book of hers, The Monster, what is it? The Monsters of Templeton, let me just like jump out of shot real quick. Um, so I figured if I like that one, I should definitely give this one a shot. I know a lot of people love her writing, um, like, and I kind of just want to give it a shot. Like, I kind of just want to give it a shot. I'm having trouble speaking, but we're just, we're just gonna go with it. But again, a dollar. It's a dollar. I mean, a dollar. I found a copy of A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Husini. Husini, I think. Um, that's so bad, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I read this book in high school and absolutely loved it. Um, this is about um, two women who are married to the same man and what happens to them and how their lives um, interact and just the, really, it's their story of being married to this particular gentleman and it's really beautifully told. And I have a feeling that if I were to read it now as an adult, I'd like it even more, but I just jumped at the chance to own a copy because I obviously don't and I'm excited to add it to my collection. And a book that I'm pretty sure is a fantasy, please correct me if I'm wrong, because this was the epitome of one of the books that I was just like, oh, I recognize that and I grabbed it, especially because it's not a used library edition, um, was Kazu Ishiguru's uh, The Buried Giant. And this has to do with Rome in a couple that's really all I know but this is a really gorgeous book like the end papers look like that the cover is just stunning so I just I grabbed it if you've read it what let me know what you thought of it I've not read him before so it would be my first foray into his writings but curious for sure I picked up a copy of accordion crimes by Annie Prue who of course is the author of the shipping news which I believe won the Pulitzer uh, I also have a copy of bark skins by her but I've not yet read it so I'm just adding more authors to the uh, uh, collection of books that I own in which I haven't read the authors at all but own multiple of their uh, works um, I may have to update that video that I did recently uh, but I honestly have no idea what this is about. I do know it has something to do with accordions though. I do remember that from the uh, synopsis, but I haven't reread it. And another wonderful introduction to a book I know nothing about. And a historical book that I was excited to pick up because I believe April from Getting Hugo With It has talked about this book. Um, and I believe she enjoyed it. I could be making that up, but if, if not, it seems like a book that April would enjoy, and that is Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. And what I found really interesting about this edition is that it includes an extended scene, and there's a little blurb in the beginning about the fact that there is a particular aspect of the first edition that some readers didn't understand why a character made a certain decision, and she was given the opportunity to elaborate on that. So I'm really curious to see the, um, what that means for this book. I haven't obviously read the first edition, um, but I had never seen that before, and I'm really curious um, to find out exactly what that might be. An author that I really should be ashamed that I haven't read yet um, is Amy Tan, and I found a wonderful edition of uh, The Joy Luck Club, probably her flagship book, as we should call it. Um, again, April has read Amy Tan, and I believe has really enjoyed her books, and I just think I'm gonna enjoy her books anyways, because so many people love them so much, and it's about dang time I got around to this one. I believe this is just about um, some Chinese immigrants and their daughters who are born in America and their relationships, and I really enjoy books like that, so definitely looking forward to this one. And I found a copy of Sumont Kids, The Invention of Wings. Uh, it was just in really great condition, so I grabbed it. I do have a copy of the the Secret Life of Bees, have not yet read it. Another author to add to said list I mentioned before. Uh, and this is about um, 
the abolitionist and suffragette movement, it sounds like. Um, sounds interesting, and I know a lot of people really like Sumant Kid, and I, I need to give her a shot. A book that I heard some of my ladies chatting about, how much they loved it at my book club, um, that when I found it for 50 cents, I just was like, okay, just grab it, Amy, is Snow Falling on Cedars by David Gutterson. And this is about a man who's living on a remote island in, I think it's the San Juans. Oh, the Puget Sound. And that's in the Pacific Northwest and in Washington State, which is where I'm from. And I don't get to read many books that take place here. So I was excited to have that opportunity and to see what all the buzz is about about this book. I believe he's wrongly accused of murder. I think yes and this is just his story and it sounds fascinating and the last book for part one of my book haul and wrapping up all the books that I bought from my local library is The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. Uh, this is the story about a family in which the father I believe is a missionary and their time in the Belgian Congo in 1959 and I not know a lot of people really 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 love this book. Um, I know um, the gal from Layovers and Literatures, I'll link her channel down below. She's a new booktuber and a veteran bookstagrammer. This is her favorite book of all time so I'm really really excited to get to it and it's actually a little bit annotated which I'm kind of excited about. You guys know I annotate my books and I'm looking forward to seeing what parts caught somebody else's attention. Alrighty guys, there you have it. There are all the books that I managed to get for a dollar or less. You will not hear me complain about that whatsoever. Um, I know I wasn't able to give great descriptions of all of them, but you know, it's a book haul that happens. I haven't read them yet, but I'm excited about them nonetheless. If there are some of these books you think I should get to tomorrow, please let me know, or ones that you're interested in reading yourself. Let me know that as well. But if you guys like this video, please like it. And if you loved it, please subscribe and we will see you in my next video. Happy reading. Fun. Um, it does have beveled, ed beveled edges, um, or beveled. Blech.